is she going boys mike here welcome back to grampy's workshop and the winter wonderland <laughs> check this out we finally got some snow this is uh i don't know the 21st of january it's windy here too today so i apologize for the wind noise but look at that we finally got some snow the lake's not even froze totally but it snowed so, what do you do around the lake here when it snows? Uh, you get out that massive Ferguson and you go plow. Let's get at her. So here we're just pulling out of the garage. So uh, uh, I tried to set the plow in float so that I wouldn't dig down into the gravel of the lane and the landing here. But if you notice there, just under the edge of the truck plow, there's a lot of snow cover still on the ground because in float the plow just went up on top of the snow. So I've, I've got about two inches of snow under the blade of the plow. And now I went through there okay and pushed it into the bank, but when I back up, no. Look, the tractor is rocking back and forth as it's breaking through the snow. So I just took the cab shot here just to show you how much I, I was rocking around. Uh, and I'm trying to back out in low gear and uh, with the differential lock on too, and it's just it's breaking through the, gra the snow into the gravel and then digging up the, the gravel and making holes and then I was just, oh no, this isn't working. And I thought maybe I should have left something on the back because I had taken the chipper off the back before I went out because I had the chipper on the back of the tractor for chipping trees. But I took it off because I didn't want to take it out into the snow. But I'm thinking now that I should have left it on because, man, this is not going to work. You see the mess I made right there? So anyways, I back back into the uh, shed, into the shop, and then I try to set my my blade, I'm messing with the blade now to try to, I, I don't put it in float, I just set it down, I try to leave it a bit off the grade so that I don't take up the gravel, but uh, you'll see as I'm going along here, it was making an awful mess. This was not too bad, but uh, no, actually right there I was still in float, and it went up on the snow again, so I had to back up you know, going at it again. And now you can see it's it's down and digging into the ground again. And I'm trying to, to feather the blade back and forth here as I'm plowing. I try to get as close to the grade as I can without digging it up, but I'm not having very good luck. So, yeah, the snow was wet and it was heavy. And uh, I come to find out too, and we'll see a little bit later in the video, that uh, one of the main reasons I was not getting good traction is not because I was breaking through the snow so much, it's because I was only in two-wheel drive. <laughs> kind of a rookie error, that's for sure. But anyways, so we're going to try this again. And, and I'm still trying to play with where is a good setting for the blade. You kind of have to watch it the whole time you're plowing, because as you see there, I'm digging up a lot of gravel. And that's the worst thing about plowing with the first snow. It's just everything is so soft. There's no frost in the ground. And it, yeah, just messing around, digging it up. And you find rocks that are buried under the snow. It just smashed into a new thing. Pretty good. So I'll back up and have another go at that. See if I can get around it this time. So yeah, it digs up a lot of gravel. And that's what I don't like, because then come next spring now, all that gravel is going to be in the pile in the corner and not on the landing where I want it. But it's been going on like that now for 20 years. <laughs> so I guess a little bit another winter's not gonna make that much difference, eh? So we're still only in two-wheel drive here and uh, I'm getting ready now, I think I'm gonna start heading up the lane. And it doesn't show up very good in the video, but my lane has got quite a little dip to it. Like it's downhill for the first half and then uphill for the second half. And uh, uh now that I think about it, looking back, only being in two-wheel drive in the tractor with nothing hanging off the back, like usually I have a snowblower on there, if nothing else, uh, but the tractor didn't do too bad going up the hill, you know, like it was uh, pushing, pushing a large amount of snow, and like I was saying, this is wet, heavy snow, so, you know, for being in two-wheel drive, <laughs> it did all right, but kind of a bonehead error that I made, but anyways, so yeah, this cut, I'm going to go right out the lane, I think. So here we turn around, you see the large amount of snow that that's there. And I find when I get that much snow in the tractor too, that it's, it makes it hard to steer. Well, I guess I'm not going out the lane yet, I'm just, just 
making a bigger clearing here at the end of the lane on the landing so that I can have room to maneuver when I come back in. So this time I'm sure I'm going out the lane. But when I get a big, uh, big pile of snow on the blade like that, if the blade is not straight, it'll push the tractor to one side or the other. So I tend to, to, to plow with the blade straight so that I can drive straight. But you'll see here as this pile builds up and builds up and builds up, but I can't continue to push that out the lane, it's just too big. Uh, so what I do is I'll angle the blade here to help me steer off to the side of the lane because I'm going to try and dump that snow off the side of the lane. So there I angle the blade to the right, which turns me to the left. And now that I'm going in that direction, I can straighten the blade out and make a straight push and push that snow over the side of the lane. And then I'll back up. And now what happens is here, uh, I'm going to do the same now, but on the right-hand side. But I don't have to use the blade yet. I don't have to angle the blade to help me steer because I can uh, get a good run, push more or less straight, right to the bank. So there's quite a little drop off on the side of the lane there, so you have to be careful not to go too far because you don't want to get the front tires down over that. Because you may not be, get it, be able to get back out. So anyways, I had to do this like push off to the left, push off to the right, all the way up the lane because the snow was so heavy and uh, I just couldn't push it all the way up the hill. So I, I did a bunch of this jigging back and forth. It takes a long time to plow when you're doing that, but that's the only way that I can get it done. And, and maybe, you know, if I was in four-wheel drive, I could have been out a little bit further, but I think with that amount of snow and it being so heavy and wet, I would have had to do this anyways. So here we're, uh, we're almost out to the lane now, but this is quite, quite a little steep hill at the end of my lane. Coming up onto the road, you can see the snowbank up there at the top right of the picture. Uh, that's the snowbank from the road. Uh, we had a neighbor plow the road this time, which was very thankful for. And uh, so this is quite a little steep hill. And you know, when I'm thinking about it, the tractor is still only in two wheel drive. I'm using the differential lock. But you know it's pushing, pushing pretty good. But it keeps it keeps spinning, and I don't like to spin the wheels in the driveway because that makes that digs up the lane, and then you have a pothole there. I don't like that. So again, I push a little bit off the side. Now we're going to try and make a, a run through here, see if I can get out onto the road. <coughs> no, I guess I'm going to push off the left side down first. There we go. Now I think I'm going to make a run to try to get right through the snow bank and out onto the road. See how I make out here. So again, no, I'm not going to get out with this one either. <laughs> this is the first time I saw this video, eh? So. <clears throat> but anyways. So I'm using a differential lock, and that helps a lot. Uh, but this is a straight push, and I, I think I get through this time. So there, oh, it slowed down. She's spinning a little bit there, but I, I managed just to ease off on the throttle or on the, the treadle pedal and keep the uh, keep the wheels going without spinning them. So I was able to get right across the road. So then, once I'm out on the road like this, I spend a lot of time uh, clearing the road off and clearing the end of the lane, pushing the snow bank snow banks back because I don't like to leave windrows on the road because people drive over that and it makes it hard to plow too if, if it's rough from where I plow the driveway so try to clear that as best I can and then here I'm just pushing off a, a big load of snow from the front of my driveway but now I'm kind of half stuck here again I can't back out of where I am without the wheel spinning so then I decide I'm just going to turn around and go down the lane be done with it so I pull out of that and uh, backing up here I'm going to get squared away and angle the blade and then we'll go back in and uh, pile off the side of the lane so you can see all the spots where I pushed the snow in there on the way out. So now I'm going down just making a, a cut there to try to neaten up that edge. I ended up going in and out the lane a bunch of different times, but I didn't I didn't include that in the video because, well, I don't think it's very interesting, but anyways. So anyway, you can see some of there where I pushed the snow off. But so now as I'm coming back up, I'm going to make a shot down uh, over by where the fire pit is, and uh, this is uh, this is an interesting little trip that I'm making here because I end up getting the tractor stuck. So you watch this. I'm just going through here in the landing and look at all the gravel I'm digging up. Man, I hate that. But 
nothing can be done, I guess. Well, something could be, but anyway, if I hadn't been smart to <laughs> edit four-wheel drive, maybe I could have been better off. But anyways, I've got the peak uh, scoff of snow on the front there now, and we're pushing that right down over the bank. And this used to be the trail that we had going down to the lake, but with all the Hurricane Fiona damage, the trail is kind of still blocked off. I never got to that yet. Anyway, I push all that snow right in there, and now I try to back out of here, and no, nothing. I try the low range, I try, you know, just easing on the treadle pedal so that I don't spin the wheels. I try differential lock. I try a whole bunch of different things. I try putting the blade down and wiggling the blade back and forth to help push me out. Angling it back and forth like that to help push, but nothing, nothing going on. And uh, then I notice, as you see me looking down there, oh man, I'm not even in four-wheel drive. <laughs> so I put it in four-wheel drive. I'm in low range with diff lock on. And I had some pretty deep holes dug by this time, so it took me a couple little jogs back and forth. But I did end up getting out of there. You can see the holes are dug up. What a mess. Anyway, the four-wheel drive I managed to back out. And then I kind of skipped ahead here in the video and this um, clearing out now where I parked the car. So we just pushed the snow over here. There's a big load of snow on the blade now, but that's going to come in handy because I angled it toward the camp and banked that snow up against the camp. And I do that to keep the wind from blowing under the camp because the camp's just on posts. So I can bank the snow in again in the camp there and it keeps the wind from blowing under the floor and taking the heat away from the floor and it keeps the camp warm. So then yeah, just finishing off where I parked the car. Banked up quick there against the camp. I wish I could bank it like that all the way around the camp, it'd make it a lot longer, but anyways. Nice. And then just a little bit of tidying up and finishing plowing off the landing here. And then I spend a lot of time, you know, just neatening up all these windrows. Like, I didn't leave it like that with the, with the ruts and the, and the big good windrows everywhere. Else. But I didn't include all that in the video because that, it took me about an hour and a half to do all that. <laughs> I don't want to make a video that long. Well, uh, we got her plowed, but man, oh man, it's tough going today. First snow, eh? It's always hard to plow the first snow. And uh, this snow, you know what? Here's a little uh, rookie mistake I made plowing. I've been plowing well for like 20 years, but still made a rookie mistake. I started plowing, I wanted to leave about an inch or two for a base because I don't want to dig up on my gravel lane. When I started out, uh, I took, there was nothing on the back of the tractor. I took the uh, chipper off and I don't have the blower on yet. And uh, when I push into the snow, the tractor would, would spin because I was leaving about a two inch space of, of snow. So I said, oh geez, this is no good. So next thing you know, I was plowing right down to the gravel to get traction. And then uh, I got stuck down over the bank there by the fire pit. And uh, what I come to find out was I wasn't even in four wheel drive yet. <laughs> so I put it in four wheel drive and away it went. So if I had been in four wheel drive since the giddy up go, I probably could have left a nice base on the lane. But anyway, there you go. Some days, you know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we got her plowed. Uh, it's supposed to rain. What well, today is Saturday? It's supposed to rain like crazy. Next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think something like that, 40 millimeters. So the snow will all be gone by then, I expect. Anyways, let's plow a little bit. So thanks for tuning in. Sure hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, boys, if you got snow in your lane, get yourself a tractor. <laughs> we'll talk to you.